Hallo, herzlich willkommen bei 1000 Welcome to 1000 PS. We're here at the big litter bike comparison test master bike of the German magazine Motorrad on the Lausitz Ring racetrack. We have gathered every sports bike that matters, of course the new models of 2015 as well. RSV4 RF from Aprilia, the new R1, 1299 Panigale S, BMW's S1000 RR, the four new Newcomers, which are challenged by a well-known CBR 1000 SP Fireblade, the ZX 10R and GSX R 1000. Let's take a look which bike has which character, which one fits you the most, which bike can surprise and which superbike will be the fastest on the track. Tune in, we have a lot of linked videos. Recorded a ton of footage. Subscribe, sit back and enjoy. It's going to be a feast. Zeit hin, zieh dich das Video mit rein. Es sind ja hier viele, viele Videos auch mit diesem Video hier verknüpft. Wir haben hier viel gedreht, viele Onboardaufnahmen für euch gemacht, damit ihr hier nichts verpasst. Abonniert den Kanal und klickt euch durch, lehnt euch zurück. Wird ein geiler Tag. Rainer, the comparison cycle just started and there is an immense pressure on the, on the riders not to crash. How do they stay so calm? Well, it's mostly routine. It's their daily job. They don't act nervous and are quite calm. You can see that when they're riding. Auch die Ruhe, ne? Also gehen jetzt nicht, sie gehen jetzt nicht her, aber sind super nervös. Du siehst, sie sitzen jetzt auch da zwei, die jetzt gleich fahren werden. Und sie haben innere Ruhe auch, weißt du, und das spiegelt sich ja auch beim Fahren wieder. Has there ever been a test which ended after five minutes due to a crash? Geworfen wurde? Nein. Nope. Wirklich noch nie? Really not? I was hoping for a great story, just for the views. Nein, wir hatten schon sicherlich... No, we had some minor accidents before, but nothing's tragic. If you plunge into the gravel, you pick it up again, clean it up and ride on. Holst es raus, machst das Motorrad wieder sauber, war fahrbereit, kurz weiterfahren. Freddy, der g 6 Quite an old bike, but still well balanced, huh? Yes, for sure. Uh, more movement uh, compared with the uh, Honda, but also a little bit more horsepower, top end, and uh, uh, yeah, easy to control mid corner. You can go fast mid corner, easy. Even uh, it's surprising the bike is quite heavy, but anyway, you can go go uh, really fast. Okay, and um, if you compare the lap times to the other uh, bikes, what, what are you missing more? Electronics or the, or the horsepower? Yeah, sure, the brakes and the entry. Uh, the bike is possible to enter into the corner very fast, for sure. But the strongest part for this uh, bike is, uh, is still easy, uh, fo follows the track, but these brakes are not good for the track. The brake Stopping power is okay, but the ABS system is stopping you. It's uh, the lever is moving more than the Honda. It's all the time moving, so you you don't really get the stopping power into the corner. Uh, but straight is okay. But okay, so the electronic package is not so modern like on the other bikes. Uh, what about the power curve? About the power delivery? Ah, power delivery is easy. No traction control, but easy to to slide out from the corner you can really feel the the limit yeah i like the bike uh, for sure it's not a bad bike uh, okay. it's uh, put some uh, more effort into this bike uh, this can compete for the top okay thank you yeah hello carsten 
Hello Carsten, you have the toughest job here. You're the timekeeper. Thomas only does some minor errands. Why you? Because I'm the best. Okay, good. Auf welchen Rundenzeiten? What's the average lap time? Was waren so die ersten Runden jetzt? Ja, wir haben uns erst gerade oder We are at about 150. Und ist das eine Rundenzeit, wo man Is that a lap time to be ashamed of? Schämen auf gar keinen Fall. No, surely not. But a few seconds faster is possible. Der Mann bringt. Alles gut. Well, then let's stay tuned. Kelly is back with the Repsol Fireblade, wonderful bike, but Honda is quite behind with its technology. Does that impact the track performance? Honda is a wonderful bike. Definitely yes. It's a beautiful bike and easy to ride, but it's underpowered. There is no gear shifting assistant, no traction control system. There is an advantage though, she is very stable braking. This is uh, a lot of fun. Okay, and it's uh, okay. Are there still people you could rank recommend the bike, or is it too old and outclassed? I think every bike has its legitimacy. Everybody has their preferences. The Fireblade is still a great bike and creates a lot of fun. Some riders might be unable to properly control the power of a leader bike. The Honda is enough for every purpose and quite forgiving. A good bike on the country roads. Well, for us racers it's never a praise of if you say it's good on the country roads. What's your feeling when it comes to lap times? Or do you already know the data? I haven't looked, but I guess about 1.5 to 2 seconds slower than the leaders. Okay, thank you. What will be your first bike in this test? Uh, the Kawasaki will be the first bike, so we are looking forward to, to see the performance. But uh, the real stars of the test are these four bikes, which uh, we have here, the new bikes, so we see what happens. Okay, and uh, we just talked about uh, the fact, because it's a very important test, or a lot of people are working here, and if some one of you is crashing, uh, the test is over, so a heavy pressure. Yeah, yeah, for me not so much, because I'm the last rider, so <laughs> it'll be okay. The, the, the lap times are first with Kelly and second with with Freddy, so I'm the third rider, so it's less pressure. But we always try to keep the limit okay. controlled. Yeah, thank you. here today with the Kawasaki. Was it a good start in the day? Yeah, it was good. Uh, this is maybe not the best bike for this track, but feeling it's okay. Tires are working well, so we will see the next round how it goes. Okay. Uh, you said it's not the best bike for this track. What do you think? What, is, what are the weak points of the Kawasaki here? Uh, I think especially the handling, because the bike is not that fast getting into the corners or in the chicanes like the new bike, so this point will make the bike a little bit slower. But the power of the engine is enough here for the long straights? Yeah, power is okay, but it, it gives the power in the high revs. So you need a little, a, little, a little bit more of middle response here. And also the gear is a little bit long, so you have to use first gear in some parts, which makes some, you have to change your mind. But it's still not an old bike. It can still compete with the newest models, huh? Yeah, I think it can. It has electronics, uh, traction control, so it's close uh, with a good setup, can be close to them. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.
Ja, hallo Uwe Geier von Hallo Uwe Geier von Metzler, Uwe Germany. Uwe, you know we have a big comparison between superbikes. Of course the bikes are the main actresses here. The tires on the other hand need to perform equally well on all of them. What's your opinion? Which kind of tire is the optimal? Well, as you already stated, standard tires for all the bikes need to perform equally well. Meanwhile, it shouldn't give any of the bikes an advantage. A tire for a bike comparison must have a bandwidth of performance broad enough to fit any bike concept, and thus allowing for appropriate use. Then you can really grind down your lap times. So, for the first day, we used the Racetech RRK3, which is street legal, where and feedback steering precision is very good on all bikes so far. Is bei allen Fahrzeugen bis jetzt sehr sehr gut. Jetzt nach dem ersten Testtag und äh, damit haben wir mit dem Racetech R K3, wir sind heute also die Straßen zugelassene Mischung gefahren, äh, für den ersten Testtag äh, die richtige Wahl getroffen. Okay, und morgen tomorrow we go on full attack. Race tires will be fitted. Richtig, genau. Da fahren wir weiterhin profilierte Rennreifen. Yes, the Racetech RRK2, which still has profile, but allows for much quicker laps. Ich nehme eine extreme Zeitenverbesserung möglich. Kelly is back with the Panigale. The other not so routine riders were quite tired after riding it, but you seem quite relaxed. No exhaustion? There is exhaustion, but I only rode three or four laps, still manageable in my age. The Panigale requires more strength. She is quite nervous on the streets. Handling is superb, though. And the motor? And the engine? Do you feel its power in the loss it's ring? Yes, you do, especially at corner exits. Tremendous power. It's quite a difference, as you often are one gear up opposed to the competitors. There are quite some bumps in the tarmac. How is the electronic all-in suspension doing? Functions well. Like I said, on the straights a little bit nervous, but also a great bike. We have to look at the lap times then. What's your impression? I think the Pandit Gali did well. Kelly, R1, Yamaha's boys always boast about how it's directly related to Rossi's M1. Do you recognize its racing genes? I sure do. Yamaha made it a big step forward. The bike is enormous fun. The sound alone is staggering. The motorcycle conveys a good feel. It's great. Okay, und dann hat ja Yamaha, Yamaha developed a lot by themselves. Electronics with six axis sensors and so on. How is the electronic package? Elektronischen Gesamtpaket hier mit der Yamaha? Gut. Works very well. Elektronische Gesamtpaket funktioniert perfekt. Rationskontrolle funktioniert alles sehr, sehr gut. Ja. Und du bist ja vor. Directly before you wrote the Aprilia, the handling wonder. How do they compare at corner entries? Like I said, it's a great bike, although the Aprilia is perfect handling-wise. The R1 isn't much behind. Good, aber die Yamaha ist nicht recht viel schlechter. Macht auch riesen Spaß. Von der Leistung her extrem gut. Also wirklich ein sehr sehr gutes Motorrad. You had your personal best lap on the Aprilia. What do you think? Where are your lap times with the R1? I feel it's a little bit slower. We'll take a look then.
Kill it. Kelly, you just received your lap times on the BMW. Were you surprised? Yes, a little bit. I thought I was faster, but feelings deceive. She has enormous power and good handling, but the Ducati has more power and lower revs and is smoother to ride. But it's getting thrilling, isn't it? It sure does. Okay, and then the BMW is a How is the shift assistant pro for you as a professional rider who never used shift assistants before? I'm not used to it. Downshifting especially. It works flawless. You can count on this easement. Okay. And the S1000 RR also has an electronic suspension, but Ducati has the most exclusive, Olens, which is surely more costly. Was this a disadvantage for the BMW? Difficult to say. Every bike has pros and cons, but works similar. My feeling told me I was faster with the BMW. I really had to push it. Maybe because the S1000RR is more relaxing to ride, more on the softer side. It feels benevolent. But the lap times say equal, so it's very fast actually. Super, yeah. Danke. Freddy, the Scandinavian Viking on the Italian beautiful Aprilia. How was the trip? Yeah, for sure. Fantastic. It's my word. You like yeah. it? It's a real race bike, I think, yeah? Yeah, and it's so well set up for so easy. You know, it's so fast and so easy to control out from the corner, but especially you can have this MotoGP feeling into the corner. You can really go completely full speed into the corner. Yeah, as I heard it from the other colleagues, the big benefit of the Aprilia is the cornering entry. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure, that's no discussion. This is uh, so easy to go into the corner. You can, you can, uh, if you get a slide in the rear, you can, you don't mind. But if you get this with the uh, Ducati or with the BMW, you have some small problem. And out of the corner, is the Aprilia stable enough? It's fun, so stable. It, they must have done something really good uh, in the past years because last time I tested this one, it was not so good, especially mid corner. Mid corner, the bike was didn't have any grip, but this this bike, for sure, this is uh, one of the best. Yeah, maybe um, it's a good a good yeah moment uh, to go on this bike because it's not complete new. But it's well prepared, well developed, yeah, yeah. with a lot of small improvements. Yeah? yeah, a lot of good improvements. And uh, compared with the BMW, you know, uh, BMW should supposed to be the best uh, or a very good uh, street uh, bike to go with st stability and stuff. But this, the Aprilia is much more stable out from the straight and uh, everything. So, okay. so well, uh, they have done a, such a good adjustments on the bikes. Okay, and do you, they ride 200 horsepower, same to the BMW, but does it feel, does it have the same power like the BMW, you think? Uh, it doesn't feel, but uh, it is really fast and uh, you you can, uh, okay, one thing, if, if the Aprilia is one of the fastest bikes on this track, it's possible, uh, one thing that will help it is the, is the gearing. This gearing is on the, st on the stock bike suits perfect for this track. So maybe some tents this is a little bit better for the Aprilia. Okay. Tja, der Tag 2 hier beim großen Motorrad-Superbike-Vergleichstest ist jetzt 
so gut wie gelaufen und die Rundenzeiten wurden... Day 2 of the big superbike comparison is almost over. Lab times were recorded. Die kommen ja alle uh, an, in der Trafik am... We had two different leaks at this comparison. The old guard, including the three Japanese bikes without the R1, which couldn't achieve the top lap times. The ZX-10R was the fastest of them. Da schon die etwas angegrauten Motorrädern, die drei Japaner, die dann nicht mehr ganz die Top. Then we had the young generation with a razor sharp difference between the S1000RR, R1 and the Ducati. Knappes Duell an der Spitze zwischen der BMW, zwischen der Ducati und zwischen der Yamaha, die waren sehr dicht beisammen bei den Rundenzeiten. They were very close. And then there was the Aprilia who just came and took the ground. She was the fastest bike with every rider. I don't think that this would be the case on all the racetracks. But here on the Lawsuits Ring, there is no doubt. Momentaufnahme auf dieser Strecke, dichtes Duell an der Spitze und die Aprilia konnte ihren Handlingvorteil in den Kurven gnadenlos umsetzen. Aber zieht euch die einzelnen Testvideos hier rein, die wir gemacht haben. Da gibt es sehr, sehr viele. Take a look at our focused videos. There is an onboard lab of all the competitors. Gyrocam in den, in den Radien hier. Zieht euch die ganzen Videos rein. Nur hier bei uns habt ihr wirklich viele, viele Rider Statements mit drinnen von den Top-Testpiloten von Motorrad. Und wenn ihr natürlich alles wissen wollt, müsst ihr euch das Heft kaufen. Seitenweise Insider-Infos hier vom Test. See you, dear Superbike-Fans. Thank <laughs> you.